I'm sharing my day one of my uh, uh, macro photography experience. So I bought a lens, uh, Lawa lens, Lawa 60 millimeter um, f2.8 macro lens for Sony a7 III, okay, E mount. And uh, these are just these are these are just uh, with the sh test shots, and uh, I was just trying to figure out uh, the 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 lens. Basically, I had I had no idea. Okay, so. This is the like ugly um, test shot, <laughs> and I show you. Uh, I show you. I will show you a couple of my favorites. So I thought I was taking a uh, macro shot, <laughs> taking these leaf, leaf um, close-ups, but these are these are these these are not macro shots. Okay, close-up shots, <laughs> actually, because I never really had had any macro lens before so I was just testing shots testing and I found these uh, interesting uh, tree patterns and I I was trying to take a shot uh, under the sh under the leaf you know like a angle up and uh, it's okay and I was I wasn't wowed by it by, um, by these shots so I took these and I wow then I started to realize wow these crazy these bokehs i really loved the bokeh from the ma the macro the macro lens okay so these are okay but i really love the bokeh the bokeh is crazy okay i really loved it then i um then i found this one this guy okay this little f flower bud and uh i really love it okay i love it this is crazy this is I I had I really have no words like um uh, I love it straight out of ca uh, the um the camera okay no editing never mind I I I, I was I will skip the editing I just go through uh, sh let me go through uh, these photos so I I so this is top down I mean top top down top view of the uh, flower bud. Then I try to vary the angle, you know, try to shoot it from the side. Um, and uh, I, I like it, but I like the top with this. I like this one better, but like the first one, I like this one. Okay. And I like these. Okay. I, I found, I like these because this is a compare, little bit like comparison shot. I see this guy, then I see this guy with a detail. I, I like this detail okay and uh, I took uh, I took a bunch more um, I like this one but I like I prefer this one this one is nice then I um, took a similar one I I don't if 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 I didn't take this one this one is okay but I took the previous one so I like the previous one better I like this one as well, similar uh, to the first one. Okay, so these are the um, so I took these, and uh, this is okay. It doesn't it doesn't excite me too much, but still nice. Uh, these are these are so far still using the uh, natural light. Uh, the settings, I mean, the focus in the setting is a little bit hard because it's very easy to miss focus. You know when um so I cannot I cannot share anything uh, with how I shoot because I'm still f still trying to figure out how a a better process so I I was using one over 60th um I'm I'm surprised I'm surprised that I can take decent sharp 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 f um, images so these are like one over sixty. How oh, wrong one? Info. Yeah, still I'm using. I don't. Yes, one over sixty. Um. ISO ISO fifty not working. I guess because I try. Okay. So still natural natural uh, natural lighting. Okay. I think I started using uh, flashlight. These are over, over way over like exposed. Um. Uh, let you see. So, so this is a one over sixty. 
ISO, so I try to uh, increase the shutter speed and uh, lower the ISO, I think. Uh, yeah, I lower the ISO a little bit. Then I lower the ISO even more. Um, so I, and I lower the uh, flash output, okay? And I like this moody. I, I started uh, thinking I, I like the moody shots. Like, I don't want to see everything, but this is kind of set the tone, set the mood. Um, so um, using one over 100 ISO 50. So the the the, uh, the flash is a uh, power is way enough, you know, um, it's enough. So um, these are over underexposed. I don't particularly dig it because um, I because I had a previous I had amazing shots just like, like a, a couple minutes ago. So I just this is this this is okay, you know, and uh, I started to liking this. So I like this uh, this shape, and I I try I was trying to get everything in focus, okay, um, but um, it's hard to focus. Uh, I, well, I didn't know what what I was doing. So basically, so I I like this one better because I can see the in, inside this uh, this inner detail, uh, comparing to this one, you know, um, if everything is the same, I like prefer this one, okay. Oh, I like this one as well, but the framing is off. You know, I wish there's more, but maybe I can fix it in Photoshop. Just uh, stretch this part, uh, stretch the um, top, you know, but I don't want to fix in anything in Photoshop yet. So I took um, this one top down, top view in, uh, using flash, external flash. I I like the fir first one better. No, this is this is okay. This is like read okay, but like I took the see I took the um I took this one like without anything with with no skills like boom just just get it I just got it okay so this is like so surprisingly good I I was really surprised I'm 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 still ex excited talking about this shot this is. This is crazy good. I I mean, sorry, I, I have no words. I like, know too too not too many uh, words to to describe this, but I really really like this one because you know this is day one, right? Right. I used the flash external flash before, but I never use it used it for um, macro shots. Yeah, this is my day one of my uh, macro photography experience. And I will share my day two and day three, uh, probably um, many more days, you know, of my photo experience. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye. So here's my settings. So I use I use my like shutters, which is um, call it continuous shooting low. I could probably use high, but you know. I'm getting okay results by using continuous shooting low. And uh, uh, I think it's okay to use use F4 because uh, even if when I'm using F4, I'm getting decent background blur. So when it's when I use F2 F2.8, um, it's it's very hard to focus. I mean the Everything will be too blurry, you know. So I use f4 or f1, f5, f5.6 for the most time. Um, and I'm using um, my flashlight, and uh, and uh, this kind of light is uh, the power is enough. One over one twenty eighth plus something. Okay. So this is my very first time using this manual lens and I really I think I like the uh, ring manual focus ring and uh, and also it's very hard to focus when you just by turn by turning it it's better to set an approximate focus than move back and forth to get a, a clear focus okay so yeah 
so these are my settings I'm, I'm shooting raw also uh, about shutter, shutter speed I go as low as 1 over 60th and um, yeah getting okay results so I don't want to go too like high fast shutter speed yeah um, ISO all over the place I use <laughs> I use the menu ISO and I also use uh, auto ISO then I said uh, then I turn this EV exposure composition dial to you know to make it brighter or lighter okay and also like when I turn the flash on okay this is not the correct this is not the correct preview okay so when I want to see the correct exposure I just turn it off okay turn it off then this is the correct exposure okay so when I turn it on turn it on okay so let, let, me, let me show you this is off oh okay this is wrong okay so I know this is wrong then I let's say I'm using this setting then I take a picture okay then I preview it so this is the result okay then I know this is too bright let's say this is too bright then I dial it down okay dial it down this uh, half it okay then I take another picture preview it okay so I need to so this is still too bright then I need to uh, lower a uh, shutter speed okay um, lower the ISO okay lower the ISO in this case okay so let's try it again this is the same this is the minimum one over one over 128 take a picture preview it okay so you see so this is how I said the correct exposure uh, there I think there there are better ways to do it but this is how I get my correct exposure um, it's a little bit cumbersome but um, uh, the, the shot result preview doesn't work I just turn it off okay I just turn the flash off together okay to get a, get a correct exposure see it messed me up okay okay a short break here so I gotta be honest I'm still a little very confused about setting the correct exposure when I'm using a flash so um, just trial and errors yeah so it's a little bit weird when I when, when I shoot with uh, the menu with the flash but I think I'll get get a hang of it when I shoot more so this is my first time using the manual lens I shot flashes before but, but not with a manual lens like manual macro lens